This dough has been proving overnight. I'm going to give my clay banneton another go by rolling the dough in some oats so that that gives her a nice oaty, toasty oaty crust when she bakes but also then provides her with um, a layer to stop her from sticking to the banneton is the hope. If you don't have rice flour uh, or you're finding things are sticking to your banneton this is just another thing that you can do. You can roll it in some oats, roll it in some seeds, maybe roll it in some milled flax seeds and just use that as the layer to stop it from sticking to your banneton. So here it is. I've just moved her around a bit so she's got more oats all around. Now put it into the banneton. Add some more oats across the top so that we've got more oats when it bakes. I might just throw a few down the side and then we're going to cover it and put it into the fridge. Here she is in the banneton. She's really grown in the fridge, absolutely filling it. So let's see how we do with turning her out, see if the oats have done the trick. Well, I think we can safely say they did. So a really oaty covered loaf that has been proving in the clay banneton. So let's score and bake. Here we go. Scored and ready to bake.